Alana, and I'm here today to actually show you how to make and edit a profile picture in Second Life. I know it's been a long time since I've done a gaming video, but this one, I have the perfect opportunity because it's been requested that I send in a new profile picture to someone. So I'm going to take one with my newest, because I just got a new skin and everything like that. I'm going to take the picture and then I'm going to show you how I edit it. And that's going to be a lot of fun, actually. So let's get to it. All right. So I have found a perfect pose and a perfect setting. I'm in my perfect outfit. All right. So we have our picture. We're all ready to go. We've got the most perfect picture right here for this because it's more of like a vampy kind of look to it. It's got that great feel. I've set the wind light so that my skin matches the background, which I love. And now we're just going to click the camera and hit save. And it'll save to where we last saved something. We're going to turn down our settings and head home. We have our pretty picture. And what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to spend some time editing this by creating a few layers to start. Shading. I'm going to start there. All right, we are going to use the middle faded brush tool and we're going to crank this down to about eight. We're going to zoom in and we're going to make sure we're on our shading layer because if you do it on the wrong layer, it will mess up and you'll have to redo. I'm just going to go along the edge of the outfit. Now, trust me, I know this doesn't look great yet, but it will look, and I'm actually, what I'm doing is I'm holding shift to create a line and I'm doing it in little segments because there are very few actually straight lines going on here and I'm going to continue to trace now because I did not this is not for an outfit I will edit the outfit a little bit too to add some shading here and there but when I actually make clothing and I'm doing the banner I don't do that I will not edit what I've made that way people who go to look at it get an accurate representation of what I've made. There's people out there that do a lot more heavy shading and highlighting and I think that it's just ridiculous. You don't need all that. But this outfit will have some more than like say an outfit that I make. And then down here we'll actually crank this up to 10 and go along the seams of the outfit not these this is actually wrenching you just keep clicking and here we're actually going to crank it up to 15 and go under the bust now we'll crank it just back down to 10 we'll kind of go in some of these supposedly shaded areas Kind of like follow the curves. This is where it gets to the point where people are like, oh, so this is why it takes people who make profile pictures so long to actually do it. Yeah, because we're adding a lot more detail to an outfit. Now without reducing it because it is just the bottom at the leg, I'm going to just kind of edge this because it will create a nice shadowing. And that's only out of 10, so not a big deal. I'm going to next come over here and I'm going to take this tool here, cloning tool. We're going to zoom way in and we're going to crank this down probably to 2. And we're going to go along where it's darker because that's where there was some clipping via the um we're just going to fix some of that now we're going to go back to our shading layer you want to be sure to go back to it because if you don't you'll mess up so we're going to crank this up to seven and we're going to start adding a shadow around the bangs get creative with it anywhere you feel like it would benefit I'm going to actually peek that 
We will be adding some highlight to the hair to make it pop. I'm going to try to mimic some of the swoops and swoops where you see a line. This takes a three cups of coffee hand. I'm kidding. It really doesn't. It just takes a little bit of assurance knowing that you can do it. And now for shading on the actual body. Down here we're going to come to the hand. Yes, this is an important step. Just kind of like a little bit of shading like that. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need a lot of excessive shading. I just like to accentuate where a person would have some shading naturally. Though she looks a little Nazi-esque at the moment, it will be fixed. Now we're going to add a new layer and call it highlighting. Now we're going to swap this by clicking the little backwards forwards arrow. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I am using uh, GIMP. So now, again, I know it looks really bold, but I promise you that it won't. I'm going to do a lot of highlighting on the body because I feel like it'll do it naturally. going to switch these layers. I'm going to move the shading on top of the highlighting. That way the highlight will actually stand out more. But I always do the shading first. I just kind of try to go on some of the curls. We've got a filter, Gaussian blur. I'm going to crank this up to actually 10. You can slide it over to see. And then you click this down to soft light. And I like to crank this down to 40. Because see, look. Oh, the difference. Now, for shading, same thing. Gaussian blur. I'm going to crank this down to 7, actually. Soft light and 40. This is before, this is after. See the dramatic difference? Now we're going to, I think, come here to my folder. Open with, and also. Let's see, name, logo, slash, save. First name. Of course, we're going to size it down, but we're going to lock this so that it doesn't get weird. Put it there, I think. Now, here's my signature for when I do one of these. I'm going to shrink it way down, though. See, like that. And here's my store logo that I always put on everything I do. Because everything is through Jetador Boutique. Jetador. Back down and put it in the other corner. And there we have it. That's how you make a picture. It's not too different from when you do clothing. Uh, um, it's actually about the same. So we just control E to save it and we'll do October 2017 export and done. Now we hit the X and we don't want to actually change so we'll click control D and there you go. All right everybody I hope you liked this little mini tutorial. I know that it's not the best out there but I did my best. I'm not used to showing people my techniques. And by all means, I am no teacher when it comes to it. I probably don't have enough patience to actually sit down and teach someone it because I would get so frustrated and probably just like flip out. 
but it took me a long time actually to figure out some of the tricks that I used. I was taught a roundabout way to do things, but I discovered on a lot of stuff some shortcuts that really made things easier, especially like doing textures on clothing. So I hope you liked this tutorial thing, this watchy. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and make that bell ring loud and proud so that you can hear when I post because I post pretty regularly. Bye, see you, love you, always thinking of you. Have a really great day. Don't let anybody get you down. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle and do it with passion or not at all. Oh,